Ready for praise and worship? Shall we sing and dance together? Woohoo! Yay! Hi everyone! Are you ready for worship? Let's sing and dance together. Let's go. 
other event have dancing and singing? It's party! Do you like parties? I like parties because it's a happy occasion and you get to dress up and look pretty. You get to see all your friends looking pretty and handsome as well. Not to forget all the delicious food and drinks. Mmm mmm yummy! Can you imagine like going to a big party but in the middle of the party there's no more food and drinks left? Oh no! It will be so embarrassing for the host to have no more food and drinks. Then friends will start to whisper. There's no more food, let's go! There's no more drinks, let's go! This reminds me of the first miracle that Jesus performed. Do you have any idea what miracle that Jesus performed? Hmm. Yes, it's turning water into wine! One day, Jesus, his mother and his disciples went to a wedding in Cana. It was a lovely wedding. Everybody was so happy. However, in the middle of the party, the wine ran out. Oh no! This is a disaster! Because when the wine runs out during a wedding, the guests will leave and the bride and groom will be so embarrassed. So Jesus' mother told him, they have no more wine. And Jesus replied, Dear woman, this is not my problem. My time has not yet come. But his mother told the servants, Just do whatever he tells you. Standing nearby were six stone water jars. Each could hold nearly 20 to 30 gallons of water. Hmm, that is around 75 to 112 liters of water. Wow, that is a lot! Jesus then told the servants, Fill these jars with water. When the jars has been filled, he told them, Draw some out and take it to the master of the feast. And the servants followed his instructions. When the master of the feast tasted the water that was now wine, Wow! He was so impressed! He even called the bridegroom over and said, A host always serves the best wine first and when everyone has had a lot to drink, he brings out the less expensive wine but you have kept the best until now. Now, the master of the feast did not know where the wine had came from but the servants who had drawn the water knew. This was the first miracle that Jesus performed and his disciples believed in him. Isn't God so good? Not only did Jesus save the bride and bridegroom from embarrassment, he turned ordinary water into the best wine. And the bridegroom received a compliment too. Wow, such amazing miracle. Do you know it's not easy to make wine, especially the best wine? First, we need to plant the grapes. It takes three years for the grapes to grow. When it's ready, you can collect the grapes. After that, you wash the grapes and you crush it. Then, keep the juice in the bottle for half a year to a year. So this takes around 3 years for the grapes to grow and 1 year for keeping it in the bottle. How many years will that be? Yes, it's 4 years! But wait, that's not all. If you want really good wine, it takes longer, up to 20 years. Such a long process, so many, many years. But Jesus did it in second by using ordinary water. Not just that, he turned six huge jars into the best wine. Not the normal jars that we use at home, but super huge jars. God wants to give us creative ideas in everything we do. You may think that I'm still young and I'm just a student. God will never use me. You're wrong. Jesus uses everyone, young or old. All you need to do is to ask Jesus, read his word, and listen to Jesus. Like in the Bible lesson, do whatever he tells you. Miracle happens when they listen and obey. Always remember, you have Jesus in your life. You can always ask him for help in 
everything, especially your studies or your exam. Whenever you think that you can't do it and do not know, know how to do it, ask Jesus. He will teach you. Jesus wants to give us the best and guide us to be the best because Jesus loves us so much. God can turn the impossible to possible. Like it says in Matthew 19 verse 26, With God, all things are possible. Let's say it together. Matthew 19 verse 26, With God, all things are possible. Now you read it out loud. Kids, you see, when you have Jesus in your life, all things are possible. Come, let us pray and ask Jesus to help us in our studies, exam, or anything that you think is not easy and turn it into a miracle. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for your love and always giving us the best. We pray that you will continue to guide us and teach us in everything we do and that we will experience your miracle in our life. In Jesus' name, Amen! So first you need color pencils, color markers, color papers, cello tape, scissors, glue, empty kitchen towel, a wrapping paper of your desired design, and paper plates of various sizes. You would want to take your wrapping paper to wrap the empty kitchen towel. Cut a piece of paper, glue it on the kitchen towel. Okay, next, use the cello tape, roll it up and stick at the ends of the kitchen towel. Cut a second piece of the cello tape and stick it at the bottom of the kitchen towel roll. Then, stick this in the middle of the biggest paper plate which you have and this will be a base for your paper plate toss Next, cut a hole in the middle so you get a ring like this then get your colour pencils and colour the ring, the paper plate and you may also draw designs Here, I'm going to colour it pink and it will look like this I'm going to design this coloured paper plate with bunny ears Take your scissors Two bunny ears which you can stick on the plate. Take your glue and just glue it on top of the plate. Glue the second ear and stick it on top. You can be creative and also create a more realistic bunny look. This is a bunny piece. And there you have it. This is a paper toss in the shape of a bunny. Which you can toss it here. You can also be creative and prepare different forms of paper tots. This is a sheep. This is an elephant and a lion. Colorful paper toss which you can play with your parents, siblings and family.